Hey everybody, welcome to Cheese and Crackers. This is Jamie. And this is Angela. And it's a whole new year and the same us. Definitely, definitely the same. Maybe um, for me, like more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There, there's there's more of me, and uh, highlighted by my stripes. <laughs> um, <laughs> you may have heard we wrote another book. Uh, too fat, too feminist. Too fat, too feminist was the title of our sequel. Uh, our is it a sequel if it's a novel? If it's a if it's a book. I think it's a it? sequel if we say it's a sequel. I love there it. There are no rules. <laughs> We're self published. Hell yeah. Yeah, Random House isn't picking that up. We have published the cover. <laughs> yeah. And that's it. There's just a cover. Let's be honest. <laughs> Unlike HGTV, HGTV, we are real. That's right. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. There's probably more to that, but. <laughs> <laughs> and that also means that our book cover is, that's it. Yeah. There's nothing else. Uh, it has been a while, but we have reached the one year anniversary. Of doing cheese and crackers. Did you want to get um, cheese and crackers drunk? No. I've uh, been doing a little too much of that lately. Fair enough. The, the <laughs> comedian lifestyle is not treating me so well. <laughs> uh, especially when I only drink stouts that are like 11.8% my volume. Yeah, that gets real serious really fast. Yeah. As I also have mm-hmm. discovered, yep. as your friend and supporting you in your comedian Thank lifestyle, you. I too Thank cannot you. handle... I also oh. like stouts and cannot cannot drink as evidenced by an evening out supporting a nonprofit that has a, a cookie sale as a highlight. Yeah. There, was, there was a flight of beers and it got real. I had to wait. Uh, I, you know, I never thought it would come to this, but I have become the person whom the bartender says, Hey, Angela, you want the usual? Yeah, uh, and so it's it's equal parts flattering and unnerving to be that person. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, well, these are things. It's winter, and um, I basically drink the stout just to uh, keep me warm. Yeah, I mean, it's, stouts are stouts are life. Yeah, a hearty, hearty life. <laughs> Drinking a fitness smoothie, but with beer. <laughs> Yeah. When you say it that way, that makes it seem way better for you. It's way more palatable. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we're not trying stouts no. tonight because I tried a stout last night and I probably will tomorrow. Uh, there was a lot of nerdy things happening in our hometown and I sh- today. I should say, nerdiness is totally fine. We're not saying anything. We would identify as nerds. We advocated for and attended yeah, the nerdy. Yeah, yeah. So we went. To, we went to the nerdy things. Plus, you can yeah. be nerdy about anything. But these are like yep. your traditional nerdy things. Yep. Like Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. Nerdy. Hell yeah. Yeah. So keep going. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, it was a uh, surprise and an extreme pleasure to get to meet Darth Vader today at the mini con. That was at our local library. Yeah. That was exciting. And his very robust stormtrooper friend. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Very good job. Thank you. That was me. <clears throat> being choked by Darth Vader. Oh, that's so what you've... Oh, that sounds way weirder when you say it. That's an it's adult like, It's like... <laughs> It's like, are you into the asphyxiation thing? No. Nope. No. Okay. No. <clears throat> anyway, so we saw, Darth, we saw Darth Vader, <laughs> and then we had to go retrieve someone's credit card at the bar, and the said bar had um, a Harry Potter thing happening, which was yeah. really cool, and I think yeah. would have been cool if we had planned a little better and stayed, but then we got yeah. Holly Juice Potion and Butterbeer. Yeah. Which they did offer as the adult version with booze in it, but we yeah. elected to order the kids kind. Yeah. <laughs> I proudly shouted at the bar, can you make it the kids kind? I got no shame. Uh, it was delicious. And the one yeah. that was like bubbly because they put dry ice in it, it was, yeah. it was very enjoyable. Yep. So uh, we're not going to, we're not going to drink stout, drink polyjuice potion or butterbeer, but we are going to eat 
And uh, in the spirit of keeping things moving, let's let's start eating. Yeah. Okay. So cauliflower crust, all the rage, right? If you're if you're doing this new year, new you thing, maybe you've decided you want to cut back on your carbs. So Aldi has it for you. Um, this but is, wait, it's by Mama Cozy. You can see the cauliflower crust. And the, <laughs> cauliflower crust pizza and this is roasted vegetable it smells really good okay so I'll just say I'll just say this personally I don't have any reason to eat cauliflower crust pizza I don't have no gluten thing I'm not counting my carbs and if I was this would not be a solution um, a third of this I'm sorry half of this pizza still has 34 grams of carbs oh I lied 35 um, and only two grams of fiber um, thin crust pizza, we looked at a meatball thin crust pizza is literally for the same, I think actually you got more. You got more, yeah. Lower content in carbs. Yep, it was like 25. Yep. However, yeah. if this is a thing that you are really into and you need to be gluten free, this is a great option. So mm -hmm. you've eaten it, what do you think? I do like it. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's good. <clears throat> oh. Doesn't even taste like cauliflower. No. Nope. My God, I'm just, okay, that's done. It tastes kind of like a really cheesy crust, you know, with like cheese crust, how it gets crispy because the fats from the cheese crisp it up. That's what it tastes like. Mm hmm You know what also reminds me of? What? Totino's party pizza. <laughs> like a little bit. Mm-hmm. Oh. But if you breathe in through your nose while you're eating, you can smell the cauliflower. The smell like farts. Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> it's got that distinct root. Well, that's not root vegetable, but earthy. You, earthy. Yeah. You're going to fart later smell. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. It is good. Like, if you were gluten-free, man, this is this is legit. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend. And it was $4.99 at our mm -hmm. Aldi, which isn't bad. I don't know. The, this kind was in the freezer area. They did have another one that was in the refrigerated section, but it was $7, and because we're cheap, we chose mm -hmm. the cheaper version. Uh, who doesn't love macaroni and cheese? So, yep, we're trying bacon mac and cheese bites. Yep. Guys, these are really, um, it's all I can take now to just shovel them in my mouth. Well, let's just do that. Okay. Um, I will explain that after we picked up these bacon mac and cheese bites, Jamie also picked up uh, what I've heard is very tasty mac and cheese pizza. Mm -hmm. And at that point, I said, I don't think we can do both and still be okay with ourselves. <laughs> but next time we'll get the mac and cheese pizza. It wasn't, it wasn't the mac and cheese pizza that's really good though. Oh. So was, there's like a frozen one and there's one that's in the fresh case. And if you guys see it, you should definitely get it. What do you think? It's really good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So yeah. um, I think it needs something spicy. So I kind of anticipated this, and I made like a little sriracha dipping sauce. How? Look at that. Yeah, it's like a new miracle sriracha dipping sauce. Like, clearly, you can't see it. We gave up trying to make the camera look right today. Mm-hmm. Really good. Yeah. There is a um, buffalo chicken flavored one. Didn't get it. <clears throat> we we thought the go the traditional route of bacon mac and cheese. Do I want to look and see how many this nah. is supposed to serve? I'm gonna oh, do it. okay. Myself. Three servings per container. That's not bad. So it'll be two. <laughs> I should also mention, my family is all gone. Just the mayor is behind me. My kids are off having a great weekend with Angela's mom. And my husband is at a tournament of some sort in Green Bay. So we're like single ladies up in here. I don't have to share mm -hmm. with anybody, nor do we have to mm -hmm. stop recording the camera because someone wants to interrupt. Other than maybe Dale. If I he, mean, Dale might walk back and forth. But he, he can. It's fine. Yeah. Those are really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. Okay, if you're having one of those sport parties, A plus. Go team, win! 
Thanks for joining us on this episode of Cheese and Crackers. Uh, we hope you had a great time watching us stuff our faces with cauliflower crust pizza <laughs> and mac and cheese bites. Uh, next time, we're going to be featuring an, a, a recipe that is uh, very special and kind of of the theme around uh, where we had a book signing this week. Yep. And we're going to be having Lim Limburger goat cheese baby Yoda cutout cookies. Mm, that sounds really delicious. Yes. And uh, sorry, we don't have an upcoming book signing because we sold out at the mini con we were at today. We signed so many books. We have to, uh, yeah, we, we have to print more and we can't do that until we get to work next week. 